welcome Flip Clock fans. We're here at Flip Clock Fan Studios in the evening time. Uh, nothing much different from your end, your perspective, but in our corner of the world. Smore and I are looking at the outside creatures this evening. Well, what do we got? Well, recently in the mail, I received this. And some of you, I know, saw these. These were, these were flip clock mechanisms that are new, that were on eBay. And um, I apologize, I do have a, a, a subscriber to flip clock fans, I hope I still do, who uh, was looking at this one. And I guess I bought it out from underneath of him. So, so we're going to talk about these and about why, why I believe these are awesome finds and often catch it, awesome catches in the flip clock world. So, so what is this? This one here is the one that I really think is is a treasure. It's it's the mechanism to the, to the RC7469, known as the Cameron. Now, the Cameron came out in 1969. It was one of the first flip clock radios, and is actually one of the best. It's a very great styling. And it's held up to the test of time. It's got an awesome radio, awesome sound. But we we are out there restoring these clocks. Sometimes we're looking for a motor, and this is in the case of the one gentleman who's uh, looking for a, a mechanism. But um, you you see, this is just just brand new. Now I haven't even powered these on yet, so we're going to do that together. And what else did I get? Well, I got this for the RC um, uh, twelve eighty RC twelve eighty, and that's over here. This I, this was a was a work in progress. I had bought this clock because someone said this RC twelve eighty uh, was working, uh, but if you plug it in, you'll notice the motor has a lot of noise. I also bought it because well, the chrome is in good shape, so the other clock. That I was looking at, um, the chrome wasn't in such good shape, so I was gonna, I was gonna replace, replace the motor in this one because this motor don't work. And well, I just kind of got burned out when I bought this clock. The clock was making a lot of noise. The motor makes noise. There's supposedly a way to fix that. You can disassemble the can, um, and um, it's a different type of motor. We'll look at this and, and you'll see. But you can disassemble that can, and. Uh, Supposedly get in there and oil it and it, it is some work and, and you're at risking Messing things up. So this is the the actual mechanism And this is the first time I've had it out And you can see I mean it's clean as a whistle look at look at that It's just it's brand new And there's the can you see it sits it's just a, a can that sits inside this electromagnetic field. Yeah, you can tell because a lot of times these things are discolored uh, in the clocks. They still work, but this is this is brand new. So now I have no idea. This may not even work. It it may it may make noise. Don't know. But but this one makes noise. This is this RC7012 is a is a movie flip clock, and I was at a t at a time into movie flip clocks big time. So anything that was in a movie. I would try to get well there's a lot of those there's a lot of movies flip clock uh flip clocks that were in movies this is in the movies rotten um uh, rotten attack of the killer tomatoes horrible movie almost impossible to watch but it did show up there in the sound it makes it's pretty terrible let's see I don't think you might be able to hear that. Well, I got I got that radio and it didn't. It made that sound and uh, I think I have another one somewhere. Again, these are notorious for making that noise. Again, so can you go in there? Maybe that's sometime I should do that. Uh, I have tried that before. You got to Some people will drill holes in there and drop oil in there that way. Others who are more practiced at it can disassemble this can and get in there and oil it. So right now live together we're going to see if this will um, make that noise let me unplug here probably has not been powered up in what 40 50 years so let's just see what happens 
silence. Yep, and it's working. You can feel the vibration. This is the alarm mechanism. That is awesome. So, I may yet restore one of these crazy Attack of the Killer Tomato clocks. Uh, now, what about this sucker? We're going to see what this does. Again, these you just don't find. Uh, it's, some, it's something that when I saw it, I just had to have it. It just, it just does, you just don't see this. Now, where did these come from? Well, the seller, Tick Picker, I think his name is. He's a great guy. We're in communication now because I'm actually going to flip, flip. I'm going to fix one of his clocks that he's going to flip that'll end up on uh, eBay at some point. So we're working out a deal. It's a real good deal for both of us. I get to look at one of these clocks and share it with you. And he's going to end up with a fixed flip clock that he can sell on eBay. But anyway, he's the one who got it, got these. He said he got 13 some flip clock parts at an estate sale. If you're wondering where this stuff shows up, he said he went in there, so it looked like a wizard's den. It had all kinds of electronic testing equipment, oscilloscopes, and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, he 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 snatched up an RC6551, which is what I'm going to help him restore, and all these parts. So again. Uh, why, why don't I get those? Well, you know what I do is I'm the one who buys them. So over the years, I have bought um, clocks that showed up on eBay. This was years ago, uh, brand new. I think I stole the, I must have stole the light out of that for something else. Um, I do have others that I got over the years. Some were really, really inexpensive. Now, why would I get these? I don't even know what clock this is for. So if you can figure that out and see what clock that is for. Now, why, why would I get something like that? Well, that, case in point, uh, you can make an upcycle flip clock. So that's what I did with this mechanism is I made an upcycle flip clock. I had that plastic when I had restored a Howard Miller flip clock. And uh, so I had extra plastic that, and I made an upcycle flip clock. So that's that's why if I see a mechanism and it's reasonable price, I'm I'm probably gonna buy it. Well anyway, let's see if this if this works. Again, this one is about as old as my wife. So it's it's ancient. Now let's get our get our electric here and power it up and hopefully that'll start right up. Oh, instant. Started right up after all those years. Of course, that's no sound. You know, the copal, the copal mechanism is being a much, much more preferable situation than these, these cans. Much easier to maintain and longer lasting. I, I do have uh, other, this is, uh, that say the same mechanism I just pulled it out because I uh, uh, this isn't new this uh, harvested the motor off this one I just wanted the uh, the wheels so I could put it on here there we go all right smooth as silk look at that just clean as a whistle. The shiny brass. All right, I'm getting crazy with it now. So um, I'm not doing this to show off and uh, say, hey, look what I got and you don't. But um, I want you to think about it when you see these mechanisms. Um, you know, if it's a, if it's a reasonable price, um, you could, should think about getting it. If you're into restoration of clocks at all, you can, you can make up cycle clocks. So this right here, would probably make a cool looking clock just sitting the way it is. You know, if I put a cord on here, just sitting here on the desk like this. 
That would make a really cool clock unless you had kids and, or cats. No offense, it's more. Well, I just wanted to show that off to you, let you see what I got, and consider going visiting that fella on eBay. He's got a couple more clock mechanisms left, and keep your eyes out. Well, thanks for taking the time. <laughs>